Hey, what's going on guys? In this video, we are going to talk about dot product or scalar product. Here we have two vector functions and this is in Cartesian form. You can see this is ax i hat plus ay j hat and az k hat. So this is Cartesian form in 3D space. And also another way to write the vector function is ax comma ay comma az in a bracket without this i j k components. Okay. And also you can write this i hat j hat k hat as x hat y hat z hat this is another way to write this one now let's look at the dot product there are two ways to multiply a vector function the one way is you can multiply this one with a scalar scalar when you multiply with a scalar you have one result that will result in a vector so when you multiply a vector with a scalar you will get a vector okay and also you can multiply this one with a vector but when you multiply with the vector there are two ways one is called dot product or scalar product dot or scalar product scalar product and when you multiply a vector function with a vector function using dot product what's going to happen is vector components are going to cancel each other because i dot i that's equal to one so it's going to cancel each other and you will end up with a scalar so this is going to give us a scalar and there's another way to multiply a vector function with a vector function that is called cross product cross product or you can say vector product and that will result in a vector okay here we are going to look at what's gonna this scalar product is going to do okay so when you dot product a dot b that's going to be equal to what a magnitude b magnitude cosine theta so let's see what is this is so let's say we have a vector function and this is our b vector function the angle that functions are making is theta degree so this is the magnitude of the dot product is dependent on this angle so you can say if cos theta we know that cos zero is equal to one so if the angle is zero we are going to have the maximum scalar product or dot product if the angle is 90 degree then we are going to have zero cos 90 is zero so we can say the dot product will be maximum when the theta is equal to zero and it will be minimum when the theta is equal to 90 degree okay and this is some basic stuff now let's see what is that this dot product means dot products basically measures how much the direction is equal to for example if we have a two vectors in the equal direction we will end up with if we dot product these two we will end up with a b magnitude but if we have a two vectors that are perpendicular to each other that's going to give us zero okay now let's look at the components first here we have i j k components let's show this one in a graph i j k so in a vector in 3D space, we have i, j, k components. j represents the y-axis and uh, i represents the x-axis. And then k hat this represents the c-axis. And here you can see j and i are perpendicular to each other. And also k and j are perpendicular to each other. And also k and i are perpendicular to each other. So if we dot product these two, i dot, like i, for example, i dot j, this this is making 90 degree right so the final answer is going to be zero and also if you dot product i with k you will get a zero because these two are making 90 degree and also if you dot product j with k you will get a zero because these two are making 90 degree and also if you dot product equal like a equal direction for example i hat with i hat you will get a one and also j hat with the j hat you will get a one and also with the k hat with the k hat you will get a one okay that's all you have to know now let's see what's going to happen if we dot product these two given vector functions now first before we discuss that when we dot product a and b we will get a magnitude b magnitude cosine theta but in other words, if you dot product, this, there's another way to express this one, a dot b. And if you dot product, you can see ax times bx. And also we have i times i. i dot i is what? Zero, I mean 1. Because 
these two are in the same axis so this is going to give us one so we will end up with ax bx and here same thing ay by and here same thing az bz so these two are equal these two are equal and let's see what's going to happen if we dot product this ax with let's say we are going to dot product this ax with all the others bx by and bz let's see what's going to happen if we dot product this one we will end up with ax i bx i and then ax i by j plus ax i and b z k so when we have equal i hat and i hat that's going to be result in ax bx okay but when we dot product these two like i and j these two are perpendicular to each other so this is going to be zero and i k perpendicular to each other k zero so this is going to be our final results ax bx and let's look at another example let's say we are going to do the same thing but for a different thing for example let's say we are going to dot product ay with other things like bx by bz let's see what's happen so if we do that we are going to end up with a y j bx i hat plus a y j hat b y j hat plus a y j hat b z k hat and here you can see this is going to be zero because these two are 90 degree and here we have j hat j hat so that's going to be equal to a y b y so this is going to be our final result because this is also going to be zero because j k 90 degree so zero and that's how we do the dot product i hope this helps Thanks for watching.